Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the Jerkin syntax and also we'll see how to build a feature file. In our last video, we talked about the Cucumber and VDD frameworks. So if you have not watched my last video, then get back to that video and then you can come back here and learn the Jerkin syntax. Now, in this video, we'll go come across these three topics. That is, what is Jerkin syntax? We'll see what is a feature file in Cucumber. And at last, we'll try to see how to create a feature file in Cucumber. So let's begin with the first one. What is Jerkin syntax? So basically, Jerkin language is a simple but a powerful way to describe the details within your user's story. So the Jerkin syntax is basically the syntax that we follow while writing the test cases in case of Cucumber. Now, if you talk about the Jerkin syntax, as you see in this diagram, these are the parts that comes along with the Jerkin syntax. The first thing is a syntax of BDD. So basically, Jerkins follows a syntax of BDD. Here, we have the free text description process. That means whatever we write, we write in a free language. And third, we describe a feature. That means basically, we put this, uh, we write this syntax inside a feature file. So that's where we describe the complete thing. Now here we write multiple scenarios. That means in this code, uh, like when writing this Jerkin syntax, we can use multiple scenarios based on our requirement. Now, these keywords like given, when, then, these are mostly used while writing the Jerkin syntax. And at last, if we want to comment a line in Jerkin, then we can use this tag hashtags. So basically this Jerkin is designed to test and uh, how to express the requirement for new products. So here, basically using this Jergen syntax and using all of these features, we write the test cases in such a way that it looks descriptive and helpful for anyone to understand. Now, here are a few important terms used in Jergen's. So basically these are the keywords that we use while writing our Jergen syntax. And uh, these are the keywords, like first one is the feature, background, scenario, given, when, then, and, and scenario outlines. Now basically, if you go around all of these keywords, basically these keywords plays an important role in writing a Jerkin syntax. Now the first thing that the feature one is, basically the feature part describes uh, when we talk about a Jerkin, we need to write a descriptive message that defines our test cases. Now the background part basically adds a contain to the scenario. So we have a scenario and based on that scenario, we write the test cases. So just if we want to add some descriptive messages to that scenario, we use this background part. The next one is the scenario. So in the next case, when we are using the scenario, uh, here, basically this is the core part of the Jerkin structure. So the first line is the scenario. That means each feature file should have at least one scenario and every scenario consists of one or more steps. Now these steps, what I'm talking about, these steps are written using this given, when, then, and add keywords. Now there is a condition, like there is certain condition that we have to follow that in which case we'll be using given, in which case we'll be using when, and in which case we'll be using then, and in which case we'll be using add. So the given, basically this used in preconditional steps. Basically, we call this given is a preconditional step. That means when we are trying to pass some details like the link details, some informative type of things, we use the given part. When is used in that case when we perform certain actions. So actions like I perform signing. So in that case, I can use that when keyword. And the and part, what we are talking about, this is the descriptive part. That means when we are forcing certain part, that means it's like uh, when we are trying to perform some actions, and based on that action, the next step is connected. Then we go for and keyword. And this then. Then clause specifies the condition under which this test is successful or unsuccessful. It means like uh, once all of these things, are, uh, these keywords are used, then it's like it goes with the next step. Then what will happen? Whether the test case will be successful or it will be unsuccessful. That's the scenario here with the then keyword. Now let's understand what is a uh, feature file in Cucumber. So a feature file usually contains a list of scenarios to be tested for a feature. A file in which we store features, a description about the features, and scenarios to be tested. Now, 
the feature part is the main part. Basically, we create a file and that file we create with dot feature extension. Now, just like in case of Java, we use dot Java extension. So here we use dot feature extension to save the files. Once the files is saved, we write the test cases using the Jerkin syntax. Now, what you see here, these feature scenarios given when and so this is just a sample of a Jerkin syntax. So this Jerkin syntax, we put it inside that feature file. So that's the feature file. Feature file is the one that we create a file. And inside that file, we write our test cases using this Jerkin syntax. Now both are connected to each other. So in feature file, we write the Cucumber test kit using Jerkin syntax. That's all the story of the feature file. Now, we'll see how to create a feature file in Cucumber. Now, to create a feature file is a point, but first we need to see how to start writing Jerkin test scenarios. So like, for example, these are my test cases for a login process. So I'm just writing a scenario for a login process. So these are my test cases. That means in first I'm passing the URL, second I'm clicking on the login button, then I enter the username and password, and I click on the submit button. So this is the demo website link of our IT Learn. So just I'm trying to perform a test case, a login process of here. Now, how to create the test cases scenarios using the Jerkin syntax, that we'll see. Now the first line, basically it gives me that is we enter the URL. So it's but obvious that we are going to use the given keyword. Now before that, we will define the feature line. We will write a scenario, keyword, a scenario line where we will talk about the test and then we'll come to this given keyword where we'll pass the link of the website. Second, it comes to the click on login button. Now this is an action that we are trying to perform. So obviously we'll go for the and keyword and using the and keyword, I will write the login statement. After that, we are entering the username and password, now test part. Here we can use the keywords like then or when. It's like we have both the choice. So we'll use the then keyword or when keyword to define the test actions here. At last, Again, when we perform the submit button, that means I'm performing a click, that means I'm performing an action. So that part will put it inside the and keyword. Now, this is how the complete Jenkins feature file looks like. So now first, the keywords. So remember one thing while writing a Jenkins syntax, that the feature files usually start with the keywords, the keywords that I talked about. So when I'm writing a Jenkins syntax, Remember, the line of statement always starts with keyword. So here, the first line of statement is feature, where I write the feature about the testing. Again, the second line is scenario, where I write the scenario. Then third line is given. Again, it goes with and, when, and, and. So basically, uh, in the first line, it's defined with the first keyword that is feature, so that is counted as the first test case. Scenario as the second test line, given as the third line, so remember, all, always these keywords will start in the beginning. That means this keyword will stay in the beginning. And then that particular line you'll be writing. Once you come to the next line, again, use the keyword in the beginning and write that line of test case. Now, if you look into this test cases, it looks quite easy to read and anyone can understand this thing. It's like by reading this test case, you can easily figure it out what exactly we are trying to perform in our login process. So that's what Jenkins bring to uh, in Cucumber. Basically, this is the thing that Jenkins help us. That's all what I was talking about in this whole period. So it looks very simple and in fact, descriptive. That's all about the Jenkins and the way to create a feature file. In our next video, we'll try to see what the Maven project structure is. We'll talk more about the project structures and we will see how we can implement these things practically in our code. Till then, stay tuned and if in case you want to read uh, more about this Jerkins, then you can go to our blog here uh, in our official website. You can read the content from these blogs. So these, in this blog, basically it's written about the Jenkins. You can read it from here. The link of this blog is, uh, I'll provide you in the description. So you can straight away have it from there. That's all in this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.